high-speed networks, smart devices and the promise of 5G and beyond. As technology evolves, the telecommunications industry stands at the forefront of change. We're plugging into the business of telecoms, where every signal and connection counts. Welcome to The Exchange from our studio here in Doha. Coming up on this episode, we speak with Mats Grenrid, Director General of GSMA, the Global Association of Mobile Networks, about boosting connectivity in the world. And we meet Aziz Aluthman Fakru, the Group CEO of Uridu, the leading telco in the Middle East and North Africa. The days of dial-up internet, fax machines and floppy disks are a thing of the past. Today, you can send emails from 40,000 feet in the sky and download large files within minutes. The telecommunications market size hit $2.3 trillion in 2024. That's according to President's Research, a market research and consulting organization. The figure is expected to grow to $4.2 trillion in the next 10 years. Rising demand for smartphones is the driving force behind this growth. And with that is also the need for speed. And by that, I mean wireless internet. Currently, 5G is the most advanced wireless technology. With speeds up to 20 gigabits per second, 5G makes it easy to download big files, watch high-quality videos, and play online games without any delays. But it's all about to be taken up a notch with 6G. Demand for connectivity is set to rise with nearly 80% of the global population expected to be connected through 5G and 6G by 2030. According to the New Scientist, a leading science and technology website, 6G can achieve speeds of up to 938 gigabits per second. That's more than 45 times faster than 5G. So how can we build a borderless, limitless global communications network that encourages collaboration over competition? I sat down with Mats Grenwit, Director General of GSMA, which unites the worldwide mobile ecosystem to get his insights on the challenges facing Europe's mobile networks and whether satellite-based connectivity options like Starlink pose any threats. 96% of everyone are covered by a terrestrial network. Many countries in Europe are struggling with too many operators per country. Uh, consolidation is absolutely necessary. Starlink is, uh, makes it easy for people to subscribe to it. Maritime is fantastic. Uh, you know, if you're an avid sailor out on the sea, you can have a nice uh, connectivity there as well. So I think applications like that makes a lot of sense. So I see it as a complement the non-terrestrial networks, I don't see it as a threat. Mats Grenrit there affirming Europe's need for consolidation and Starlink's role in improving connectivity. Well, globally, governments have launched initiatives to create digital villages to ensure that the adoption of rapid technology doesn't leave communities behind. Our reporter Emmeline Nsingi Nkosi went to a rural area in the UK to find out how high-speed networks have helped residents there. Hi Leila, I'm in Dorset County in the southwest of England where the 5G Rural Dorset project is transforming how rural areas connect, work and protect the environment. We're looking for things that will make a difference to people who live, work and visit Dorset. This is Colin Wood, one of two collaboration lead for 5G Rural Dorset. We launched the world's first 5G Boy at Sea, um, which provided connectivity uh, along the coast. We also looked at how we could build a, a mast which would provide connectivity to a very rural and isolated community more cost effectively. The project partnered with Xnet to create a 5G network that could be utilised when and where needed. The importance of having a mobile platform is we can drive it to anywhere. We can turn up laden with hardware, software, communications, network. The lessons from 5G Rural Dorset extend far beyond this region. Following a successful first R&D phase, the project has been able to secure commercial interest. I'm really proud of the 5G Rural Dorset project because we took R&D money from the government and we did some really interesting groundbreaking, in, you know, in some cases world-leading research. From cutting-edge farming to environmental innovation, 
Dorset is leading the way in showing how 5G can transform rural life, not just here, but around the world. One company which has put social responsibility and technology at the core of its business strategy is Uridu, Qatar's leading telecommunications and ICT firm. I spoke to Group CEO Aziz Aluthman Fakru about the firm's operations that extends beyond the Middle East to include North Africa and Southeast Asia. Around 30% of the world connectivity flows through the Middle East, uh, connecting Europe to Asia and to Africa as well. Being diversified and having bases of operation and landing station in all these countries, in Qatar, in Oman, Kuwait, in Iraq, in Algeria, Tunisia, in Palestine, the Maldives and Southeast Asia through Indosat is a key competitive advantage. As a telco, we have a huge social responsibility in terms of inclusion, whether it's financial inclusion, communication inclusion, outreach. If we fail into that inclusion parameter, we'll fail as a business. Now it's time for our regular feature, Business in 60 Seconds. Start the clock. Air France KLM is gearing up to announce its fourth quarter 2024 financial results as it pushes forward with its digital transformation plans. The airline group has signed a multi-year deal with Tata Consultancy Services to migrate its IT systems to the cloud. This strategic move is aimed at enhancing decision-making and customer experience. Adidas is preparing to release its Q4 2024 earnings report, emphasizing footwear sustainability. The global sports brand is expanding its partnership with Fashion for Good, an Amsterdam-based platform that promotes sustainable fashion. The goal is to increase recycled materials and minimize carbon footprints. And Prada is set to publish its fourth quarter earnings for 2024, backed by a $1.1 billion investment in retail over the next five years. The luxury brand aims to enhance its retail spaces, creating immersive experiences that merge fashion, food and art to cater to high-end consumers. Connectivity then isn't just about faster internet speeds or the ability to make a phone call from wherever you are in the world. For everyone to move forward together, access to these technologies is the wire that keeps the world connected. And as excitement builds up over the potential of the 6G network, a new era of global telecommunications promises to boost economic growth for a brighter future. Well, that's all the time we have for on this edition of the show. Thanks for watching. Please do check out Euronews.com for all your latest business news and join us again next time on The Exchange.